G'day, how's it going? Saber SG here, and we're into EVE Online series number 26 now, and we're flying the hook bill, uh, but this time I am and um, I'm flying three different fits, which I will go through for you guys, just to change things up and uh, make the video a bit longer. But um, if you're enjoying the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. It's very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. Righto, so let's have a look at the uh, hook bill fits that I used. Um, I actually used three different fits for this video. Uh, just to do something a bit different. Plus, um, just the nature of what I'm doing. I think people look up my kill mails and... Uh, oh, yep. Saber's making this video about this fit. And uh, so that's what he's going to be flying. But this time I swapped between different three different fits to just to try and confuse people a little bit. But... Um, this is the tanky brawling fit. So I got uh, two Caldari Me Navy medium shield extenders on there. And then I was also using this one here. Dan fits here, I stole a little um, Z kill. And this is a Kaidi fit with a tracking, uh, with a target painter on it. And then I was also using, uh, where is it gone? Tracking disrupting fit, dual web with a tracking disruptor. So obviously with the uh, two sort of tanky fit and this tracking disruptor fit, I'm using rockets, and then on the Kaidi fit, I was using uh, light missiles. But yeah, they're the fits, and uh, I will post them below in the description. But yeah, let's get into some fights. Alrighty, so first fight uh, in my hook bill, I'm in the tracking disrupting variant of the hook bill and I'm up against a uh, fire tail. I jumped into the plex on him. And it actually turns out to be a, an arty uh, fire tail with rockets as well, so, which I was not expecting at all. <laughs> but he's not very tanky. Uh, so he goes down fairly quickly. Good fight. Righto, so in this next fight I'm up against uh, another hook bill, but uh, this is a polarised hook bill, so I'm pretty sure that means that uh, he's got zero resists, just buffer, um, but he's got a lot of DPS, and unfortunately there's an Astero there that's uh, whoring on the uh, fight as well. Thank you, Fenris. But uh, yep, I popped my extra drugs there. If I get this killer to be very juicy. And boom. Good fight. I go down at the same time, but totally worth it. Alrighty, so this time uh, I am up against a comet, and it's a it's an interesting fight. It's your typical um, blaster sort of comet. And I'm pretty sure that he has got uh, null loaded, or he, he swaps over at some stage. But as you can see here, it's sort of lagging and everything's getting a bit weird. And uh, very soon here, I will uh, disconnect. You see nothing's working, nothing's moving. I'm trying to deactivate things and uh, turn off heat and all that kind of stuff. Not happening there, we're going to have a lost connection. And I come back in uh, from DCing and I walk back into the plex and he's dead. And yeah, I killed him somehow. <laughs> Good fight. Righto, so this time I'm up against a comet, but I'm in the uh, kitey uh, hook build this time. And it's kind of a pre-arranged 1v1. And um, he comes in with a blaster variant comet, so... Um, things are not good for him. So 
So as long as I don't mismanage my heat or burn my guns out or anything like that, I'll be good. So his mate in an hour goes, jumps in to sort of... I thought he was spectating, but he did uh, whore in on the kill a little bit. And then a daredevil comes in as well. This happens a lot in the evening. Like you're trying to arrange a 1v1 in local, but then uh, lots of extra stuff comes in. So we've got a third party and a spectator, semi-spectator. So I'm still concentrating on the uh, comet. And it looks like the Algos is shooting the uh, daredevil. Oh, well, he's got his drones on the daredevil. So it's taken a while to kill this comet. But uh, good on him for um, trying to range a 1v1 with me. Nice work, Splat Attack. Splat Attack. There we go, nearly got him. And then after this I figure I'm just going to swap onto the Daredevil and give it a shot. I do have an opportunity to warp away, but... You know. Might as well give it a go. Now the Algos has gone down. So it's just me and the Daredevil now. And it's going to be, it's going to be a tough fight. It's close. Oh well. Good fight. Right, so in this one, I'm up against a Natron. I'm in my tracking disruptor uh, hook bill. And he's a very game Atron. Coming up against a hook bill. Very ballsy. And he actually, um, man, he gives me a good run for my money. Does well. Yeah, you got me into structure there. I think now that I've established some range, my tracking disruptor optimal range wise is uh, causing some problems. Good fight. Okay, so this time I'm up against a Fed Comet, it's sort of a pre-arranged fight again against uh, Splatak again. Uh, good on you mate for bringing the 1v1s. Uh, this time I'm in my tanky um, buffer fit um, hook build. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes against the, you know, your brawling sort of comet. So I'm trying to uh, pull a bit of range to make him uh, swap over to Null if he's got Void in there. So things are going quite well. Buffer is uh, doing its job. But he's tanking pretty well too. And uh, yeah man, it's going to be close. Oh, there we go. And good fight. Cheers for the 1v1 split attack. Oh, 
Alrighty, so this next part I am farting and a staring. I'm a bit late in hitting the record button because I was fluffing around and um, wasn't a paying attention to my D scan. And um, he might have had a cloak anyway. Though possibly not because he's got a nude on me. But um, yeah. He, um, he's one hell of a fit because he's got a nude on me and he's nuding the crap out of me. And, uh, mate, I'm just not applying any damage to him. He's just tanking it. My hits are just doing nothing to him. He, um, it's one very tanky Astera, that's for sure. So when, that, when it becomes obvious that I'm just not going to break his tank and he's going to slowly kill me, I thought, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill his drones. Make him earn it. You don't want to go down easy. But, um... Yeah, my cap is empty. Bugger. Sneaky bugger. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's an interesting fight. It, it's a, um, you don't expect to encounter an Astero, especially an Astero with, um, that's really tanky with a Newt as well. And the cap's empty again. Come on, kill the drones, kill the drones. Nope, he pulls them. The capacitor is empty. Not even bothering to web and scram at this point. All right, back onto his drains. And he pulls them again. Yeah, sort of ammonard whether I was gonna put this one in because it's kind of a long, drawn out fight, but I thought, oh yeah, why not? Why not put it in my painful slow death? The capacitor and the cap is empty once again. Even though my cap's empty, at least the missiles don't use cap. I can just keep shooting him with my rockets, or shooting his drones with the rockets. The capacitor is empty. This fight would have been a lot quicker, or over for me a lot quicker if I was an active tank. Buffer and makes me last a little while. I'm shooting him again for the hell of it. Keeps pulling his drones, he won't let me kill any of them. The I'm nearly dead. There we go. Good fight, mate. Nice fit. So there we go. That is the Comet. Uh, with a few different, uh, well, three different fits uh, tried out, but um, yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool ship. I really like the combat actually. Um, I'm not really sure which uh, faction we're going to try next. Maybe the Firetail or the Comet. So um, if you guys out there have got any uh, good fits for the Firetail or Comet, um, send me in-game mail, Saber SG, the fits. Um, be keen to have a look and try them out but up here if you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe it really helps me out a lot um and uh yibbity yibbity that's all folks and i'll catch you in the next video